We begin here at five with the ongoing fight against the pandemic and COVID cases are rising across the tri-state and so are hospitalizations. CBS 2's Jessica Moore is here with a look at the numbers and the various approaches to stifle the virus's growth. Jessica. Well, Andrea and Maurice, leaders in all three states say we're now dealing with a triple threat. The Omicron variant, more time indoors over the next few months and of course holiday gatherings. And unless more people get vaccinated, we could be looking at another significant wave of COVID cases. Here's some breaking news. As of today, 70% of all New York City residents are fully vaccinated. That's a very big deal. That good news eclipsed by the most recent data showing New York City reported 2,050 new COVID cases on Tuesday. New York State reported 8,200 new cases this month, more than double last month's 3,400. New Jersey reported 4,100 new cases compared to 3,200 last month. And in Connecticut, cases nearly doubled month to month with 1,900 new cases. Hospitalizations are also up with 3,400 in New York State and 113 in the city. Talk to anybody who works in an ER and they'll tell you that um, disproportionately, overwhelmingly, uh, it's unvaccinated people who are coming in. Mayor de Blasio confirms eight cases of the Omicron variant in New York and says community transmission is already happening. Starting December 14th, New York City kids 5 to 11 will have to show proof of vaccination to dine indoors or see a movie. The mayor brought in reinforcements to defend his new requirement that all private sector employees get at least one dose of the vaccine by December 27th, a mandate currently being challenged in court. By making the rules the same across the board, regardless of where you work, if businesses are in this together, all of us will be the safer for it. COVID is bad for business. New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, whose state saw 1,324 hospitalizations and 29 deaths over the past month, says 72% of residents are fully vaccinated, but only 34% have gotten booster shots. Our numbers across the board are roughly one third of what they were a year ago at this time, thanks to the vaccines, I might add. But keeping our health care system strong remains of paramount concern. Connecticut reported 525 hospitalizations last month. Even so, Governor Ned Lamont remains hopeful. If before we uh, did have to, um, you know, restrict access and big groups getting together, um, I don't see that as being necessary this time around. And parents in the city can now add their kids' vaccination information to their own NYC COVID safe app to make dining out easier. And with only 20% of 5 to 11 year olds vaccinated, the mayor is pushing right now to increase that rate to avoid any potential school disruptions. Maurice and Andrea. Okay, Jessica, thank you.